Danny right now. This is nauseous. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh Jesus! Jesus. I gotta look away. I gotta look away. <laughs> I've never had a problem with any sort of motion sickness. So. Uh, I haven't until now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done with it. All right. I'm getting the jiggy. That was uh, in the thing. Getting jiggy with it. I'm Welcome sure no one's made that joke. Before. Never before. Welcome back to episode whatever of Banjo. We've been doing this for three hours now. Maybe a little more. It feels like five minutes. It has gone by pretty quick. I do love this game. We've been having a lot of fun talking about <clears throat> our Various. civil rights and vaginas. And well, excuse me. <laughs> I don't think I would ever talk about vaginas. Never in a billion years. Cox, I would though. Cox. Oh cox. yeah, Cox. cox Crown me on Cox. Just uh, need all the Cox. <laughs> cox, internet, Cox, uh, Tommy Cox. Have you ever watched gay porn? Uh, no. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Funny? I've watched cringe videos of it before because there's like a whole subreddit of cringe videos. Like people just reacting to watching gay porn? No, no, no. They sh they show parts of the gay porn, like the dialogue and shit from it. Uh -huh. It's hilarious. It's yeah, because everyone watches gay porn for the <laughs> dialogue. I mean, uh, the, uh, I've never like it's, like sought out gay porn for the sake of either watching it. For funny reasons, or but sometimes it's just there, like on Reddit. Uh -huh. You know, just as you do. As you do, because I mean, Reddit's got everything. Oh, this is Gobi's Valley, by the way. This is the last level they did on Game Grumps, isn't it? I think so. I don't think they ever got a Bad Master Mansion. I know they did the horror level. With oh Greg no, wait. Kirko. Yeah, I was about to say that was. Uh, that was the they but then they stopped the after real... that. They didn't even really play when he was there. Yeah, they just kind of dicked around. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, yeah. This isn't my fucking game. You, you pricks. Have you ever played Conker's Bad for a day? Uh, I played about half of it. I played the first five minutes and I was like, that's the thing. It doesn't control well. I don't like the yeah. way it controls at all. Well, I was playing it with the PlayStation 2 controller. Mm. I was playing on N64. I especially don't like the frying pan hit. Because it's like, it freezes you in place for about two whole seconds, and then, then it like, whacks the frying pan thing. And it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel very flowy. Well, um, wait, you played it on a real 64? Yeah. I got you, two over there. You, wait, what? You I got have. two copies of the game? No, I've got two, two in 64. Why do you have two in 64? Because uh, one I bought at a flea market, and uh, the flea market up in Carrollton. Uh huh. And uh, what's, the other what's one. What's that? What's Carrollton? I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's not where we live. Nope. Absolutely not. Um. Um. And. Uh. Fuck. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, I bought that one in Carrollton, and it didn't work. Uh -huh. So I just took my brother's. Oh, okay. You got the uh, clear plastic green one. Oh, cool. I didn't know they make different colors. Yep. Mine's just black. Yeah, I prefer the regular gray one, but the uh, green one looks kind of neat. It's like that see-through uh, plastic, too, of like yeah. the purple. Yeah. Uh, remember the purple Game Boy colors? Yeah. I have... I don't have the clear Game Boy, but I have two of the purple Game Boy Colors. That was my very first gaming console ever. It was a clear Game Boy Color. It was always the weird kid that had one of those clear Game Boy Colors. Well, I was that weird kid. Well, you know how there's always a kid who like shows up to class? When you're young, that like he has like a bloody nose or like a really runny nose, and he's got like a a buzz cut, and he talks a lot about shotguns, and he shows up with a broken arm. Isn't that like half the kids in a southern school? Kind of, yeah, I think so. Maybe that's just a southern thing. But you know, he was usually the kid who would have the kid. Or he would have like the the weird neon blue or whatever it was that was that looked like the Tron. Like um, and um, 
don't really see how that correlates, but... There you go. I burped twice during this. Okay. You've only burped once. I wasn't keeping track of my burps. Why not? Because that's something I typically think about. I have, like, OCD or something. I, I keep track of weird things. Okay. You I say that say. like I just whip my dick out, like, <laughs> no. okay? Okay? I say okay a lot. You're like, that's so Mortal stupid. Kombat. But you've said okay twice, and you haven't said it at all before. Okay. Mm you just did it again, like, see, when you say it, it's like, ah, it's kind of condescending, it's like, you just said the stupidest thing I've ever heard you fucking say, Patrick. I don't really see how you're getting a condescending tone out of that. I'm really not <laughs> intending it. If I was wanting to be condescending, I'd be like, Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, the way I was saying it was just kind of like, Oh, well, okay then. If that's if you're going to keep track of that, that's fine. I don't care. Whatever. It's kind of like my dismissive, just I acknowledge what you're saying. But I don't really have. I haven't kept track about. of my farts during this. So. <laughs> I haven't farted at all. I was really gassy this morning. That's great to know. <laughs> it is great to know. Um, are you kidding me? Guys don't fart. What the fuck? What am I even saying? No, never fart. Um, I don't even have an anus. <laughs> I ate a whole pack of oatmeal raisin cookies last night. As you do. You know. Oatmeal raisin is the worst. I had a, like a craving for it. It's it's not the first thing I would pick. I like it more than chocolate chip though. Oh I'm, fuck that man. I I prefer like sugar cookies. Well I do like sugar cookies, but like if you ever bite into a chocolate chip cookie, like what you think is a chocolate chip cookie, and then you get fucking oatmeal <laughs> raisin, it's <laughs> the worst feeling <laughs> in the world. Wait. Wait, why would you think that it was a chocolate chip? It looks because they nothing. look like chocolate chip no, cookies. No, they don't. They have yes, oatmeal they on them. They look like raisins. Like the raisins look like chocolate oh chips. My God. No, like they at a don't. glance. Like you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna study Wait a cookie minute. and be like, Wait a minute. should I eat this? Wait a minute. Do you not look at your food before you eat it? No, I do. But I'm just like saying, if you if like there's like a plate of cookies out, and you just glance at it, and you're like, I'm gonna hold oh, no, 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 and you're like, no, it's just like, I, finished, oh, I, oh, here's oh, here's a big tray of cookies. Raisin. I'm gonna reach like, my hand into this Louis tray and just like take this one with a plate of cookies. I'm just gonna eat this plate of cookies. I'm just gonna eat the whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat this whole fucking plate of cookies. God. But like, if if you're just like, if you see a plate of cookies, and you're just like, oh, these look like chocolate chips. Is this I'm really just... what breaks us? An argument the, over about chocolate chip cookies? cookies? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, fucking. Wait. It's weird enough that you like oatmeal raisin to begin with. They're good. But they're not chocolate chip. I, I don't. I'm not oh, a wait, big fan of chocolate. I thought they were only in the other game. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. I like me some chocolate. They kind of taste like dirt to me. Well, certain American chocolates certainly are not like the best. I do. I like Hershey. Don't act like one of those British twats who just fucking says American sucks with the no, fucking dude, I've, dirty ass Hershey. I've been I've been to plenty of places around the world, and I can compare. Oh well, so, now you've been to places around the world. Oh yeah, I'm a world, well, tra then. world traveler sorts. Oh my. But yeah, I've tried all different si types of chocolate, and I mean, Hershey... Cadbury cream. Hershey is like the baseline. It's chocolate. I mean, I'm not arguing. And it's there. Hershey's disgusting, but it's my... I think it's okay. It's my American chocolate, and I'm gonna fucking eat it if I even want to eat chocolate. Oh, damn right. Like, I'll eat, I'll eat McDonald's all day hell. long. Like, I, I don't give a fuck about, like, health or whatever. I just had McDonald's. Nice. Add a double quarter pounder with cheese and a large Coke Zero. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Europe? Okay, first of all, <laughs> it's France. France, whatever. It's in Europe. Did you just call it a double quarter pounder? Because it's definitely I... just a quarter pounder in the movie. Well, a quarter pounder with cheese then. I don't even think they had double quarter pounders back then. I don't think I would call it a double quarter pounder. Well, it's recorded, so we'll be able to go you'll back and see it later. You'll be able to see, and you'll replay it, and you'll be like, Patrick oh, fuck. was wrong, or Patrick was right. 
Had a double quarter pounder with cheese and a large Coke Zero. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Europe? Okay, first of all, <laughs> Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. Whatever. One of us will have the off fuck moment, and the other one will be like, yeah, fuck. I really don't care if I'm right or wrong, but still. Well, you're the one who brought it up. I know, because I, I love Tarantino. Tarantino is good. He has a foot fetish. I like feet right. too. Feet are okay, I guess. But you know what I've discovered is that I like every part of it. It's not just the feet or the boobs. I like. I, I mean. I like. I like legs. I like. I I like shoulders. Well, luckily, shoulders it, are kind of sexy. Uh, sure. I mean, luckily for you, it is a it's a it's a package deal. The whole woman thing. Yeah. So when you get one bit, you get all of it. And this probably sounds like a line, and it is kind of a line, but it's true. I like. I really like the imperfections of a woman, like her. Oh, for sure. Her fucking freckles and her scars. Like and, if everyone looks perfect, I mean that's just boring. But like, I love a nice freckled shoulder, like from behind. <laughs> like a woman's back is so hot. I do like those shoulder blades. Oh hell yeah! Shoulder blades from the back. especially without a bra on. Wait, you can take those off? What? <laughs> you said without a bra. On. No, I mean, I mean, you can like take a picture. Those off? You can take off bras. Wait, as in a far picture. As I'm, concerned. I'm just saying, like a, a Are picture. Are you saying that you've seen pictures, but you've never actually seen a woman without a bra? No, I have, but I'm just saying, like. When have from... you seen a woman without a bra? On? I don't believe you because I've never seen a woman without a bra. On. That doesn't happen. <laughs> No, never happens. Women women just always have bras on. I, I and, thought they were born with them. Oh, of course. And they just change colors. Like some... When they're 13, they get a lot bigger. Exactly. Hi, Gobi. I've heard about nipples, but I think that they're a myth. I think that I mean, men just happen. Don't show me uh, your nipples. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it exists. That's one of those things that... They don't know if you actually show me your... <laughs> but you know... <laughs> See, that's one of the things, like, they don't know if we actually high-five each other. Exactly. <laughs> or if we kiss. <laughs> oh, my oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's my microphone. I'll lick it oh if I want. Oh, my God. <laughs> they did that on Game Grumps. I don't doubt it. And then Danny was like, don't do that. I don't want them to think that we kissed. <laughs> But they probably did. They probably just whipped their dicks out, too. And just started furiously jacking it to each other. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just have Why sex? Why wouldn't you do that? I, I mean, I understand the circle jerk thing. <clears throat> Can it be a circle jerk if there's only two guys, though? Well, would, it, would it just be a line it's jerk? It's like a thing. I... Kind of like a line dance sort of thing? <laughs> line dance. Like we used to do in drama that I still now, fuck that, do in man. my room sometimes. I hated doing those See, choreographed dances. Oh, I most certainly did too. I left. That's one of the reasons why I left. Yeah. I can't believe I stayed in it for as long as I did. Is that Hulk, Holcomb even forced me to join show choir? Did she really? Yeah. I didn't want to do it so she badly, never but she made forced me do it. Me to do anything. She, she and I had an, an interesting relationship. She thought that you were just the best. I don't know why. I mean, sure, I've got some musical talent and stuff. I mean, not to my own horn or anything, but not to do my own horn. <laughs> but I do tinkle, tickle the ivories quite well. Indeed. But I mean, like, she knew I could sing, and she knew I knew how to play piano and stuff like that. And she wanted to bring out the best in me, but goddamn, she had a horrible way of doing it. Just yelling she at people. She was with that with uh, the I can't I won't say his name, but do you remember the guy who was in he was in my grade, um, and he was slightly bigger. You mean he looked like you? He did not look like me. I don't know. Who you're I mean, he was about. kind of fat, and he was he was like her darling, but she yelled at him. Oh. Yes. I didn't want to say his name. Well, we didn't say his last name. His last name is almost impossible to pronounce anyway. Well, I can fucking bleep it if we need to. Anyway. 
Um, yeah, she. But his mom actually told her that she could do that, damn. And she really? was just. She, yeah, she said, "Don't relent with him," because <laughs> he needs it. Yeah, and I mean, she was just brutal with him. I felt so bad for him sometimes, but he was a jerk. Yeah, I guess a little bit. We're well, definitely gonna have to believe his name now. I had to. Well, it's not like he's got a. There are millions in the world. Well, yes, but I mean, like. One in that class. Yeah. Um, I don't think. And he knows he was a jerk. <laughs> Probably. Um, he used to call me an asshole all the time. I think he called everyone an asshole. I think he? I was. I probably was an asshole. Um, I mean, I'm a, I wasn't gonna say. I don't. Anything, but... I don't remember much from drama class. I mean, I remember a lot, but I think I probably phase out things like me being a jerk or something. I don't remember being a jerk too often. Like, I mean, I I do have my moments where I I can be a jerk. I tried not to be a jerk. I think it that succeed all the, time. the difference is that I'm not a vindictive person. So if I am a jerk, it's not meant to be mean. It's nothing personal. Yeah, it's nothing personal. And I try to be nice to everyone, even people that I don't like. Unless they really get on my nerves. Mm. But These are the speedy shoes. I gotta use them to... Get, grab his gold. I've had that a thousand years. Well done, Marl. Do you ever go to the quick trip over here? Uh, yeah, why? <clears throat> Sometimes when I'm coming back from Atlanta or something, I'll stop by and I'll get a, uh, if, cause usually it's like late at night. And, uh, I'll get like a, one of the Mexican Coca-Colas they have. They sell those here? Yeah. It's so delicious and amazing, and it's yeah, because it's real sugar. That perfect caffeine sugar rush helps me get home <laughs> without incident. Would there be incident? I, if I'm butt fucking tired, yeah. Oh well, yeah. Um, the last time I did that was right before me and my girlfriend broke up, because um, I drove to Athens and back in that one night. I should have probably broken up with her then. Whew, that's tricky. Could you imagine uh, someone doing that to you, though? Like, you driving for hours to come be with them yeah, and then pick them up, them up and then, like, I don't want to... Like, okay. Yeah, that's a little, a little messed up. I should have, but, you know, lesson learned, I suppose. <laughs> Well, that's all that it is, just having to figure this shit out and say fuck you to the right people. But I was so serious about her, though, that's the thing. I wanted it to work. Well, you always wanted it to work in the moment. Well, I mean, the other relationships that I've been in in the past year, uh, the past year I've ended. But with her, she was the one that broke it off, and then, but I was so grateful. Well, either way, breakups are never fun. That's quite true. That's quite true. Um. I think the last of the stuff that I got to do is in the big pyramid in the center. So, how much left of how much more of the game is left, uh, Mister? I can complete it in less than five hours. Right. This is about uh, halfway through. Oh, okay. A little more than half. Actually, no, I'd say it's pretty much exactly half. Okay. Because I've not seen much past this point, so... The levels just get more and more creative. Like, the last level in particular. It's kind of funny that you go from... Like, a cute little forest area in the beginning, and then you go to this. Desert land. The desert land. I got a lot of variety in this game. The snow level, the desert level, the foresty level. Is there a lava level like in Zelda? Uh, in the next game, there is. I don't know anything about Banjo Tooie. Well, it's pretty fun. I've not even seen I've not even seen gameplay footage from it. Well, gameplay wise, it's pretty much the same as this, yeah. just with more moves. But the 
they added quite a lot to the game. Like, they added bosses and, uh, bigger moveset, larger levels, bigger hub worlds, stuff like that. Oh, I see. It's like I was telling you on Facebook last night, um, the biggest problem with that game is that it's kind of just too big. Mm. There's a lot of, like, backtracking, um, moves that you learn in later levels uh, let you get jiggies in some of the earlier ones. Um, they do that only once in this game, but they do it like crazy in Banjo-Tooie, which is a perfectly valid game design uh, thing to do. Like, it's very Metroidvania-y. Yeah. But it takes away from the sense of like each level is its own like little collection course. Because like in almost every level in this game, you can get everything all in one go. But in Banjo-Tooie, you gotta like, um, you gotta go back to levels a bunch of times and crisscross between them a lot, um, which is fine, again. But it it's, makes it feel a little less, a little less fun. It's kind of funny about Rare how they they were able to put so many cool games out in a short amount of time, mm -hmm. and Nintendo always moves at a snail pl snail's pace. Because there's I think there's been only one, well, uh, other than the NES, I think there's been only one Mario game per console to have a sequel, and that was Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, because there's no, there's no, I mean, the NES has three, has three Mario, yeah, Mario games, yeah. but there's no, there's only one Super Mario. Well, I mean, you could count Yoshi's Island, I guess, but for the SNES, there's only one Mario game for that console. That's, Mario World. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. And then N64 had uh, Mario 64, and they only um, had Sunshine for GameCube. Well, it's kind of the big title for each console. Well, because most of the most of their stuffs. Um, had uh, lives of like five years or so. Well, it's funny because it, it's almost it's like the only Mario game that's been developed to the full potential of the system that it was on was Mario 3. Then again, I've never played Super Mario Galaxy 2, but... I didn't like Super Mario Galaxy very much. I Neither did I, but everyone raves about the sequel. Yeah, I hear a lot of people saying a lot of really good things about Super Mario uh, Galaxy 2. <clears throat> I never, just never really gave it a chance because I didn't like Galaxy all, Galaxy One all that yeah. much. But I, I never got very far in Sunshine. Sunshine is my favorite Mario know, platformer. But I, 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 I fucked up. I always used to fuck up with the first Bowser boss. Um, the, the on rails one. Yeah, that one's easy. Well, it's not easy. Oh but. come on! You like the last time I said that to you, you're like, well, that's understandable. Dude. It's. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's easy it's kind of more like i mean it is all on rails and you get infinite amount of tries to do it the only problem uh, with that is just trying to figure out where the rocket's gonna go when you shoot it um because like it sort of feels like the point of aim changes every time just a little bit but it's enough to throw you off well i rage quit so easily <laughs> that's why i cheat like all the time with games. Video game cheater. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Up my butt. Oh wait. Oh, I know where the last thing is at. I could go in there, but I don't need to. You know, the thing with that 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 whole experiment was, I was first trying to do something like John Tron. And peanut butter gamer mm -hmm. and kind of like a big production value sort of view sort of thing yeah but my production values weren't very good <laughs> but um also just that review style but i was mostly showing gameplay with the cheats on mm -hmm. which wasn't very entertaining so by the time i got to mario 3 which is i think is the best one that i did um I was just showing an edited version of me playing a game with cheats on, but with... Because I think that if I tried to do something sort of 
and I didn't script any of them, so that may have been a problem, but I think my humor style is more, I think it's better for something like I did with the Mario 3, if I'd kept going in that direction, it would have been better. I don't think I watched the Mario 3 one. It was much tighter and more interesting. I'll go back I, and watch it at some point. I edited it, like, much better. None of them are online anymore, but... Oh, you took them down? Yeah, I took everything on my channel down. Because hmm. um, I, I they had, like, what, a combined 100 views? Um, my channel itself had over 100,000 views. Oh, well, there you go. But I just... But that was for my music and my guitar videos and shit. Hmm. Um, but, um, yeah, the video game cheater videos probably just had a combined 100 views. <laughs> um, that, sound, that kind of sucks, because you probably spent a fair bit of time with those, didn't you? Yeah, but time doesn't necessarily equal quality. That's true, as I guess. We all know. I mean, I've made terrible albums that took me months, and then some of my best albums that I recorded I did in a matter of days. So I'll just kind of look at the draw in that sort of sense. Yeah, it, it has to do with mood and just experience level. Like, I wasn't very experienced with video game commentary at the time. And I'm still not, but... Well, I think we're doing an okay job with this. Yeah. Well, this is with two people. Yeah. Like one guy, there's, like, no way of knowing. Because if it makes me laugh, it's probably... In my experience, if something makes me laugh... It doesn't necessarily make everyone else laugh. <laughs> yeah. And I I mean, that doesn't bother me so much now because I, I say and do a lot of things that make me laugh and I don't really care if anyone else laughs. But um, if you're doing a show, you kind of have to <laughs> market it towards other people watching it and not just yourself. Yeah, exactly. Got to consider that there is other human beings who will criticize the shit out of everything you do. There's always going to be someone who hates what you do. Oh, absolutely. Especially on the internet. I think I just got one more thing to do in here. I went the wrong way, but whatever. This one's been running kind of long. We're almost at 30 minutes on this one, so after I... Damn, that, that went quite okay. fast. Yeah, we probably should have stopped this one earlier, but... Since I'm already here, I might as well just do this yeah. last one in here. This part's really hard, too. I might fuck up the first time. I remember them doing this on Grample Grumps. <clears throat> yeah, I think he couldn't beat this one. Yeah. Playing as the walrus is definitely easier, because it gets faster when you get the shoes. You can play as the walrus? Yeah, last... Uh, didn't you see me racing him last time? Well... I didn't know you could actually play as the walrus. Oh shit. Ah, uh, damn it. For our, for our, well, okay, uh, that's game over. It's too easy. I'm getting it. It's not my fault I didn't fuck up. Uh, what'd you say before? Not, I don't even remember. <laughs> it, it probably wasn't very important. Nope. Um. Unless God it was it. about pornography. Then it was incredibly important. I'll try if I want to try, Boggy. Well, you caught up to him pretty fast. He slows down. Like, he, he reacts to how you're doing in the race. Oh. Like, if, you're, if you get far ahead, That's he speeds good game up. Zone. Yeah. It's a little annoying, though. Oh, you can jump over them. That's, that's also a good game design. It is. You just gotta run in between them. run this race a lot of times. I think the only game that I play that routinely makes me do races for anything is Grand Theft Auto. Those are so annoying. I don't like Grand Theft Auto races. Neither do I. The, the ones in San Andreas... Well, I think the one that you have to do in Vice City is the worst. The one that you do with uh, that fat guy in the car with you. I didn't play Vice City. You didn't play Vice City? I actually didn't play any of them before 4. Are you serious? Yeah, I need to go back and play those. Dude! Okay, well, now that they've aged, I think you should probably play the PC versions because 
That'd probably be the best experience. Yeah. But I mean, I can I can look past a game's datedness well, very easily. Well, like, I, I recently tried playing games. San Andreas on my PS2, and it looked so bad. I'm like, I oh, used I'm to, sure. I used to play this game for hours. But see, Grand Theft Auto 3's aged so well in Has comparison, it. but it's like a much smaller game, and so yeah, it was but, a lot more cartoony, wasn't it? No, Grand Theft Auto 3 was was the more serious one, hmm. and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was the really cartoony one. Vice City was somewhere in between, and Vice City was really well designed. It's, it's probably better designed than 3, but um, the render distance on San Andreas is so bad, especially when you're using the jetpack, which is sort of a big oh, that sounds awesome. part of the game. Um, but... Um, it's just funny. A game that you, I used to play for hours is something that I can barely look at now. <laughs> yeah. But I've played the PC version, and it's fantastic. So. Yeah, because I think they actually bumped up the textures and whatnot yeah. twice oh, definitely. for the PC version. Yeah. Um, um, which version of, of Grand Theft Auto 4 did you play? Uh, the 360. Cause I have it on PC, though. I... Now... Do you agree with me that Grand Theft Auto 4 has almost no replay value? Um, its multiplayer was okay. I mean, I like, I actually really like the, 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 the design of the city, and I liked playing Lost in the Damned, and I would probably enjoy playing it again, but Lost in the, Damned was fun. the introductory missions in Grand Theft oh, Auto 4 are so Four, slow. It takes yeah. like two hours to get to anything fun. And... I mean, at first, when you first play it, it was fun for me because you're, like, building up and you, like, it, when you get a gun, it's a big deal. But the second time I tried to play it, I was like, damn, this is not nearly as fun as I remember. It's ridiculously slow at the beginning. I play, I, I, I beat, Grand, that was the first game I had on the PlayStation 3, and I beat it in, like, three or four days, and it was just all that I could do was play that game. Oh, yeah. I loved it, but then when I tried to play it again, it was just not the same. Which, I guess that's with the same, that's with everything, but mm. this was like particularly disappointing. And I started to notice the things that people didn't like about it. And of course, it's it was put out early in that generation's uh, lifespan, so the graphics aren't as good as other Yeah, a lot of them are really muddy. But, um,. And the motion blur in that game is insane. Yeah. Okay, well this one's been running for 32 minutes now. Holy I'm, shit. I know these people are probably getting tired of me telling them what the video timer is on their thing. Because they can but, see it. Yeah, they can see it. And I've pointed out like three or four times. So, um, we'll just uh, wrap it up for this one. Okay. And possibly next time we'll go to Mad Monsters Mansion. Tiddlywinks. See bye you bye. later, diddles.